the police are out again teaming up and they're out here keeping things up and uh oh got somebody right here that quick thank you very much the traffic stops are very important too because we have so many accidents and right here I noticed as I was walking by that the sign has been hit. We've had so many signs hit in the area, it's amazing. And uh, we do have a video about that on our YouTube site, Dundalk TV, so please check that out. This is the third time we saw two police cars together today. On McShane Way, one police car came out onto Dundalk Avenue and headed towards Water's Edge, and another one quickly followed. While we were at the shopping center in Old Dundalk, two police cars were sitting there. And now we see two police cars right off of Dunman Way. And they seem to be working in a team. And they're being very aggressive about crime that's going on in the area. And they're shaking things up. Dundalk TV is with a resident of Dundalk and they just had the police at their home and they're going to give a little bit of information about some of the stuff that's going on in our community and how they feel about the police. So you, you had the police here, but you've had them here in the past. So uh, please give a little bit of history and then tell us what you think about the job the police are doing in the Dundalk area. Sure. Uh, so last January, uh, we had the police out for a break in at our residence. He jimmied the window, stole a bunch of stuff, ransacked the upstairs, um, actually exited through the back door where he set off the alarm which set off a recording he actually is in um, prison at the moment because Great. we prosecuted um, lately we have had a rash of break-ins or attempted break-ins uh, I know a house around the corner has been broken into um, the garage several times uh, stuff has been stolen police have been out every single time canvassing the neighborhood asking questions um, seeing if anybody with security cameras have caught any activity. Um, I know all the houses in the area have kind of banded together to kind of watch the neighborhood. Uh, today I had the police out, two officers um, came out. Somebody had attempted to pick my deadbolt on my front door, uh, possibly overnight last night. Um, so we actually called and made a report on that. Um, they gave me a case number and said that if anything changes to please give them a call in other words They're just saying all the residents of Dundalk just be on the lookout um, Keep in touch with them on anything that happens uh, Keep your doors windows and everything locked if you don't have a security system to get one um, Big dogs are a deterrent. They are saying that uh, houses that have large dogs that are loud uh, They're not attempting to break in very much to them yes was just thinking about the dogs yesterday and how important that is but seeing your property and we're not going to show the property their hedges are, are trimmed back so there's no oh, place for anyone to hide but also i'm wondering um lights in the dundalk area when i'm walking around at night not many people have their lights on now do you have your lights on and we, your neighbor have your neighbors been doing that yes actually the officers did say that if you do have front porch lights to leave them on all night because yes. um, a lot of the times they won't be as brave because a lot of the people have the ring doorbell cameras they have um, sensors on the doorbells that will pick it up so if lights they don't want to be seen if yes. you have uh, porch lights, leave them on. If you have motion sensored lights, floodlights are amazing. They said to definitely line your properties with those. And also, we really need to look into getting more street lights. But I know the one on the corner here it does not work half the time. And it's not as bright. Lighting is very important. Yes, well, the biggest thing is, is to have the people light their houses up. I, I that, that would be the starting point. Lighting up your property is very important. And also, I've spoken to people that had their security camera unplugged, um, and then all of a sudden, the incident happened, and they did not have the information that they could share with the police. Now, your general impression of how you feel the police are doing their job and your experience dealing with them. 
Um, dealing with them, they've been nothing but pleasant. Um, they respond pretty quickly. I think I called the non-emergency number because it wasn't a life or death situation. And they had an officer out within five to ten minutes. I mean, it was not that, that long. And they're all very courteous. They come out, yes ma'am, no ma'am, you know, and they definitely, they took a report very quickly. Um, they said if anything needed, if we had any more information or anything changed to please feel free to give them a call back. And I think that they are canvassing the neighborhoods a lot more. I did suggest to the officers that were out today, maybe step it up at night a little bit more, maybe have somebody driving around more so at night. Yes, They're right, saying agree. a lot of the break-ins or attempted break-ins are happening broad daytime. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's very scary. Uh, you know, e even daytime or nighttime, it's, it's just very scary to have people breaking into homes because there are people home during the day and there are people home at night and coming face-to-face -face mm -hmm. with a robber in your um, residence is very scary and uh, you just never know what could happen there that's so correct. would like to thank you very much uh, for doing this interview and hopefully uh, it wakes people up to what they need to do also please check those basement windows that's a that's a big entry area and I see a lot of people that they're home during the day and they feel comfortable leaving their entry door open with just their storm door there and I really don't feel like people are locking that door you need to lock that door because these people could care less about anything. They, they have one thing in mind that is getting your property and getting their fix. Dundalk TV would like to thank the police for getting out there and trying to make our streets safe. We have a lot of problems out here and we need better policing. And it seems like that's what we're getting right now. This is Scott Collier signing off in Old Dundalk.